Welcome to Sequences and Series Unit. And our section is Arithmetic Sequences. So I guess we maybe we should go first and uh, define both a sequence and what arithmetic is. So a sequence is, pr sequence is pretty straightforward. It's a list of numbers. Uh, usually where terms, so specific numbers in the list, are related. So a sequence of numbers could be 2, 3, Four, etc., etc., etc. It could be five, ten, twenty, etc., etc., etc. So usually they're related, but it's really just a list. Arithmetic is having to do with adding or addition or subtraction. So if we think about what an arithmetic sequences, it's some sort of list where we're moving from term to term somehow by adding or subtracting. Two sub-definitions here, a finite sequence and an infinite sequence. And it's really just about how long is the list. A finite list has a specific or set number, so a specific number of terms. Now it can be a lot of terms, it could be one term, it could be ten term, a million terms, but it has a set amount. An infinite sequence has many, many, many terms. Maybe I'll only put too many there. Has many, many terms. And how many? Well, infinite. Now I know it's not a great idea defining infinite in terms of infinite, but there we go. Examples of a few arithmetic sequences. Okay, so we've seen sequence. What does arithmetic mean? Well, let's start with a number, three for instance. And let's keep adding 4 to it. So 3 plus 4 is 7, then 11, then 15, then etc, etc, etc. It keeps on going forever and ever. Um, we could have 2 as a first term, and then let's say we subtract 5. And subtract 5 again to get negative 8, and etc, etc, etc. Decimals, fractions, all these things work. Uh, let's start with negative 5.1 as a first term. Our second term, if we added, let's say, 4, could be negative 1.1. Add another 4, would be 2.9, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll notice, all the time that I've been talking about writing down this list, I always start with the first number, and I talk about how much am I either adding or subtracting. So that's really the two numbers that define an arithmetic sequence we have the first term. What is the first thing we write down? And what we're going to do for that is we're going to use a T with a little subscript of 1. So there's first term. So if I wrote down the first term, the next thing I'd have to talk about is how much am I either adding or subtracting? And this is the common difference. So the common difference, which we're going to use a little d to denote, is basically how much we add or subtract. So if we take a look above here, we have 3, 7, 11, 15. We have a first term, sorry, not a. We have a first term of t1 equals 3 and d equals 4. And we could do that for each of those sequences. There's also two other variables that we use. n. Now what we're going to use n for is just its location, or the term location, in the list. So if we're talking about the first term, second term, third term, that would be n is 1, n is 2, n is 3. Just its location in the list. T with a little subscript of n, which could be T1, T2, T3, is the value of the nth term. If you want to stop at any time, go back and 
finish up some of these notes. That's great. Or we can just move on. Let's investigate this uh, arithmetic sequence of 3, 5, and 7. I prefer to write down what all these terms are. T1 is 3. The common difference is 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So we get 3 and 2. Let's take a look how we can build this list and maybe generalize some sort of formula here. So our list is 3, 5, and 7, and then that carries on. Um, 3 is clearly just 3. 5 is we must have added 2. 7 is we take 5 and add another 2. So it looks like this is term 1. This is term 1 plus D. And the third term is term 1 plus 2 of the Ds. So, if this is term 1, so let's say n equals 1, here n is 2, n is 3, somehow we should be able to generalize what the equation is. It looks like every single term, so if we're looking for a general equation, has t1 in it. It also looks like we have a number of d's. How many d's do we have? If we take a look at term 2, there's 1d, term 3 has 2d's. It looks like there's one less term than the term number. And lo and behold, we have our first formula. So let's just pen down here, tn equals first term plus the common difference times the term number minus 1. This ends the notes for the first section. What follows will be a couple of examples.